G'day folks. What I have here is the head assemblies from a couple of scroll compressors. These are a true scroll compressor, unlike the ones that I was confused with before, which are actually rotaries. These are scroll compressors. This one is a single phase Bristol Infinity Scroll. This one here is a Copeland three phase compliant scroll. Roughly 20 kilowatts of cooling capacity from the unit. Whereas this one here is about 16 to 17. Top section here and here is known as the fixed, fixed scroll. That remains stationary. This moving scroll is in like so. Sits on the eccentric lobe on the crankshaft and oscillates around like so, drawing gas in through the side and squeezing it around the spiral into the centre, compressing it in the process. It's quite an ingenious little design. This one here actually has oil rings on it, whereas the Copeland does not have oil rings. This little bushing inside here sits on the lobe of the crankshaft of the motor. And this must act as a thrust ring or wear plate, as well as a means of engaging the moving scroll and allowing it to move in a linear motion. They appear to be made out of forged or cast steel. Very hard material, I can't even drill into the stuff. Although the Copeland stuff's a lot softer, it's just cast iron. A little oil drain off tube. And I've seen that little overpressure relief valve in here. I'm guessing if high pressure side becomes too high, it will blow off and discharge pressure out to the low pressure side. Likewise with this one here. Mounted on the head. Where is it? In there. A little high pressure discharge valve that comes out here. Oh no, sorry. Where does that go? I'll have to look into that one. Anywho, that is the scroll compressor head.